as a salesperson, right? Sales consultant, whatever you like to, whatever term you like to use. I, I like sales because it allows freedom of time, right? Mm -hmm. And I know there's, there's peaks, there's valleys, there's lows, highs in terms of how often and how much you have to work, mm -hmm. right? Sometimes you may work, in Isabel's case, 25, 30 hours a week. Sometimes, Joseph, you may work 35 hours a week. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say on average per week? How many hours do you really put into this? Like, are you getting up at six o'clock in the morning, you know, <laughs> you know, getting to the business, you know, at seven o'clock and then just, you know, working all day until six and you just basically kind of just roll in the door when you get home? Or no, I mean, it's, you know, there's certain days where I have four and five leads and those days, you know, obviously I'm excited about because those are uh, days where you can add to your portfolio, but then there's other days where you may have a few installs in the morning and the rest of your day is to yourself. Mm -hmm. um, you may be done by 10.30 in the morning. Uh, then there's some days where just things uh, are winding down for the year or whatever and you got a three week gap, four week gap where, mm -hmm. you know, you're still gonna be fielding any needs of current mm -hmm. merchants but really, you know, it, the ability for extra things and work, it, it's, it's as good as it gets. I mean, you have plenty of time for yourself, for your family, whatever you need, for, as well as, you know, having uh, your merchants be a priority and adding accounts being a priority as well. It's, uh, I'd say, on an average week, maybe 28 hours, 30 hours a week of work. Okay. And it's not even, necessarily grueling work by any means. Right. Okay. How about you, Isabel? Now you already said, I'm glad you said that because she was she was gonna say she works fifty hours. <laughs> <already. laughs> so. um, to me you're I'm I'm available all the time. I talk to merchants at nine thirty at night, I talk to merchants at seven thirty in the morning. But Does that mean you work from 7.30 to 9.30? That's what I was just going to say. I may not be, you know, you have time in there where you're doing other stuff. Right. Where you're, where you're going, to lunch. going to lunch. I do eat a lot. Right. So, yeah, I do. I Go do enjoy a good lunch. I do like going to CrossFit. So, you just, you're... You organize. Yeah, you just organize. But it's, I worked an 8 to 5 job. I mean, I, I did all the accounting, marketing, all that kind of stuff. It's different than that you will work hard, and I think harder at times, but you do it at your schedule. You do it when you need to, as opposed to having to be in an office at eight o'clock and leaving at five. Mm -hmm. You'll put that time in, but it'll be based on when it's needed. So <laughs> as you get better at it, would you say that it's not about working harder, but it's really about working smarter? So normally say Joseph, let's say he starts off at this point doing 28 hours, right? And being that you've been doing it longer, probably more skilled, more savvy at it, I would just assume that you probably work just a little less than Joseph, unless... I love the way you set that up. You're trying to get me going <laughs> on that road. Right. Um, I just think you're available longer. Okay. Now that well, you yeah, have but I don't count hours. those hours that I'm yeah. available. I'm available <laughs> at the golf course right. when I'm golfing. Exactly. <laughs> you answer okay. the phone? Okay. Um, yeah, I do. I so do. that's what I mean. You have time to do your own thing, but you will work hard. Right. Okay. okay. We're on the same page. Okay. Good. <laughs> so talking to an expert out there, they've been working, you know, because you already know if you work for, say, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, any one of these big institutions, you absolutely do work. 40 to 50 hours per week and it's mm -hmm. this time this clock they have like devices on you that kind of like mm -hmm. pinpoint exactly where you're going mm -hmm. right so <laughs> right they're, they're like really on you if you go outside of the radius where you're scheduled they know, they, know. Uh -huh. yeah, they absolutely know about it so what would you say to that kind of person um would you say that would you I mean, I, you already said you don't want to work in the office they're not in the office either but what would yeah. you say I would say that my humble opinion is, is that you're in an industry where you're building the wealth for somebody else, a corporation or a bank. If you come out and work for yourself in conjunction with electronic commerce and you're building it for you, mm -hmm. and yes, at the beginning you may need to work those, those long hours, but as you build your portfolio, mm -hmm. um, then you have way more flexibility. Right. But at the beginning, you need to put it in or you're not making the money yeah. to survive. You definitely need to put it in. Did you yeah. put a lot of hours in in the beginning or was it? The same. Mm, I mean, no, I didn't put a ton of hours in. I mean, so Isabel's basically the only one who's been working like crazy. I mean, yeah, <laughs> maybe I need to put in those hours to get to that uh, half a million mark. Right. But, uh, not there I mean, you know, I don't know. I feel like with this company at least, 
my schedules are pretty tight with appointments. I mean, they, you know, I have small windows between appointments, but I like it that way. That way I'm done pretty early in the day. And if, if I'm out running the appointments, usually most of them, they're legit. So some of those deals are going to sign. And, you know, I have to be honest with myself, if I'm having bad month after bad month after bad month, is it really because the leads are no good or is it because I'm out doing other things? So I.